and welcome back to the adventures of Jenny Lee. If you haven't started the book yet, you want to go back and listen to the first two chapters. Because today we're doing chapter three and it's all about Bruno's bath. Are you ready? Let's start. Bruno is still covered in red spots and everywhere he lies down, he leaves a mark. So mommy said Jenny must help to wash him. This is Jenny's first time to bath Bruno. Mommy filled the bath with water and called Bruno. But Bruno is not a fan of bathing. So when he heard the tap run, he went into hiding. Jenny, go find Bruno, mommy instructed. Jenny searched everywhere, calling, Bruno! Mummy decided to help and found him behind the couch in the lounge. Mummy dragged Bruno on his collar and Jenny pushed from behind until at last they got him into the bathroom and closed the door. What a struggle to get him into the bath! Jenny followed Mum's instructions. First pour water over his whole body. Jenny took the jug and poured water over Bruno who was still trying to get out of the bath, but Mummy was holding him down. Now take some of the shampoo and pour it onto his back. Be careful not to get it into your eyes. Jenny started washing and scrubbing Bruno until his whole body was covered with bubbles and foam. Jenny was laughing and enjoying herself, but Mummy did not think this was fun at all. Because Bruno kept shaking and splashing water all over them and the bathroom floor. Finally, rinse off all the bubbles. Jenny started rinsing and she thought the pink water from the red crayon was beautiful. Mummy thought by herself that Jenny's enjoying this punishment way too much. So she decided that Jenny will have to clean the bathroom as well. After Mummy helped her dry Bruno with a towel, she fetched old towels and told Jenny to dry the bathroom floor. Jenny did not enjoy this task at all. It was difficult and slippery. At last she was done and fell flat on her back on the couch next to Mummy, who was reading a book with a huge sigh, saying... (sighs) I don't think Bruno needs colour in his hair ever again. Mummy just smiled.